Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to our episode of We're All Set. We are on now on number 13, 13. Episode number 13. It's a beautiful day. My name is Kayla Martinez. To the right of me, you already know it's your boy Free. Young Free. And today's a special day because my best friend is here. This is I'm Reese. a special guest, Reese Gorge. Reese is special. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> special <laughs> guest is about to get lit. You know why it's about to be lit? Because every time we come on, Free and Rich come in on me, and today is gonna be different because now I got my brother with me. So we wanna know what's good. What y'all wearing today? And there? Rich is not here today, which is very unfortunate. This is tragic. Rich, I love you. We He'll love be back next week. But since he stepped out and now that my brother's here, it's gonna be different because ain't nobody gonna be popping shit how they usually be trying to pop what shit. What y'all wearing? Tell them what y'all wearing real quick. What y'all got on, man? Look, drip, D4 threads. Drip! It's minority D4 on. Threads. Minority on brand. Make sure y'all go support. Go to the page at D4 threads. D4 threads. All that good shit. You know what I mean? So. Okay. We're gonna oh, get yeah. straight into it. Yeah. Um, first topic is um, one that I've been waiting on for a while now because I'm very passionate about it. <laughs> I want to talk about the Young Buck situation. Jeez. The Young Buck situation. So for anybody who doesn't know, Young Buck now has some uh, training allegations against him. Similar to the shit that Dwight Howard went through, which I love Dwight Howard, shout out to him, I'm, I'm still here for you. But Young Buck got some similar shit going on and he's trying to say it's not true. 50 Cent's roasting him, it's a lot. And I want to talk about these niggas out here fucking with trannies and um, I, I want to defend it. So I'm going to let- defend it! I want to defend them, surprisingly. I'm going to defend them, so first, I'm going to let Free go and then we're going to let Reese give her input and then I'm going to come back and like, let me start off Love by it. saying I don't know what she was drinking today or what's her cup. Tea. I don't know how she trying to defend the fuckery. I'm not defending it. I'm not for it. Listen, if you if you want to be, let's let's be clear. I don't got nothing against LGBT. I'm, if I'm you not be, for the download bullshit. Yeah, I'm not for the download shit. Like I'm not you for can't it. be download. Like if you gonna be gay, be gay. Let niggas know. All that playing behind the scenes with the trainees and all that shit. It's I'm not, not fair to as women. It's not fair to everybody. It's not fair to women because you putting them in danger. And then it's not fair to the single men like free, the straight men like free, Sorry. who. Like to pull up on these women who might have been affected by fucking with a bot nigga who's playing training games. Yeah, that's true. This shit is ridiculous. That's if you're true. a freak and that's what you want to do, do your thing. Be a freak. But be honest about it. That's yes, what I'm saying. Yes, I agree. You know what I mean? Yes. I don't know. That's what. I, that's my point on the whole situation. Okay. As far as Young Buck go, like, if that's your thing, that's your thing. Like, you could be a gangster homo rapper. Like, you might, that could be <laughs> I a new, don't know. Like, I mean, you could be a new lane. There could be a new lane for that. Yeah. Niggas is waiting for that. You could be Rainbow Buck. But just don't play with niggas and don't play with the community and don't play with shorties. Let them know how you playing so they know what's going on if they want to strap up. And that's it. We can choose to decide if we want to fuck with you or not. That's all I'm saying about the whole situation. Whether Buck want to fuck with men and be gay, that's on him. But the least he could do is just be 100 with it. Don't put anybody else in jeopardy. And this shit is ridiculous in Atlanta too because a lot of that going on. So I don't know how to Lou just wanted to go home. He's like, this is shit. Oh, yeah, sad. a lot of pressure. Sad but you know what? That's how niggas know. Now that niggas understand, that's how females feel every fucking day. When you're walking down the street and niggas is like, damn, I'm trying to bag you, that's how it feels when men are around the, those men and they be trying to bag them. That shit gets uncomfortable, it's don't it? It's dangerous. I've been dangerous. dealing with it since I was 15 years old. It's dangerous. What I will say, matter of fact, when Kayla wants to defend it, I think she's not more so opposed to the behavior. Like, like no. I said, yeah. if you want to be gay, be gay. I'm offended, and what I find egregious is when these men decide to go and play these games and play behind closed doors and not keep it a buck with the rest of the public. Yeah. Like, let niggas know how you, what you're doing so we know how, so everybody else know how to move around you accordingly. Yeah. That's it. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? So I got a question now. So okay. do you think that shit is more about the, um, the butthole bullshit, or like, do you really like men? Because some girls are not with all the freaky shit that the men want. So do they have to like go to the tranny? Let's fucking take it there. Because like, no, no, I take it there. Men are freaks. So men right. like freaky and shit. And it's uncomfortable because a bitch be like, nah, nigga, you gay. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. Doing that. Go find it elsewhere. And all right, but let me ask you this. That's a good point. Why not just fuck on a nigga? What's freaky? 
What's what's some freaky shit that a man can ask you that you feel like is out of bounds? Let me let me tell you what it is. It's uh, called a G spot in that ass. The fucking it feels fucking good, and and not even as a woman, okay. as a human being, that G spot is in your butt. And I think that if women were more comfortable with going ahead and taking it there, because that's your man, he's still a king, and we just all trying to nut at the end of the fucking day, niggas wouldn't have to duck off. So I blame it on bitches. Cause once you talk, <laughs> shit, that was super. Listen, you blame as it on a man, bitches. I blame it on the girls. Take it there with him so she can take, take it somewhere else. Hard. So you okay with your but man getting his butt played with? Saying. Or playing with your man's butt hole? Yes. I'm, I'm not okay, okay with, with that. It. No. <laughs> no. I, I feel like there's certain things Three, to me. Three, because I bitch play with your butt hole. Exactly. And I don't want it. I'm and not requesting that. Uh, I don't request that. Like, there's not, I'm but but let's talk about what's so gross about it. How old are you? It's How not about the age. I don't need to know. To never know. Late twenties. Yeah, we can say that. But this is my whole thing. Just because I'm not into getting my butt played with, why, why does my maturity got to come into question? No, I'm just asking how old no. you are. We don't know your Certainly. experiences, what you've been through. So because at the end of the day, I, but that's not my thing. Sexual experience come with, but you know, come to an age. Let me ask you, let me ask you this. And listen, y'all. Do you like, you like a nigga, you like your butt played with? You like a nigga to fuck you on the butt? Yes, that, yes, All right, yes. that's cool. Like, that's one but thing. I like, with three shit questions. to go yeah, I, like, I like, I like no limitations in the bedroom. I don't give a fuck. Whatever's gonna make me come, nigga, let's go. I'm not about to say, like, well, technically, my ego and my pride and whatever I want to so, to come. People shouldn't have to hide or, or you no, should have to. So y'all two are in the minority that feel like if you play in your man's butthole, then you don't made up a minority, is that a fact? And he's wrong because it's not. Don't, don't say it. Yes, he is. It's not a fact. That shit ain't Let right. me say something. I got head. I'm even, and I'm not even gonna say this about you specifically. I'm gonna say there's a guy out there. <laughs> so, so. That's sitting here looking like. No, nobody likes it. And you no, fucking like it. it. But no, I'm telling okay, you, but... let me let me look you in your fucking eyes, young king. You're good. <laughs> we got you. There's nothing wrong with it, baby. It's called your fucking lit. And when I'm with a nigga and I, I'm ready to get lit, and he's like, "What are you doing? Get the fuck out." I'm gonna start fucking oh, you. So let me ask you this. I'm a bitch. I'm a female. Why can't I? For Chandler's niggas. So you gonna say a high percentage of your niggas like they butt play with? Yes. Right. I think all niggas like it. I think you have to like it. No, I don't. But I don't want to try it. I'm good. The dick, Free, I'm the telling dick, you. The dick come without coming from my penis is good enough for me. No homo. Like, I don't need nothing else. You the don't China, know that. You never took it there. That lies coming out of free. He don't know. He never took it there. I got my, I got my dick sucked for the first time in elementary school. That was over 20 years ago. That's That's worth my mind. 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 That's worth my That's worth my mind. 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 That's worth my mind.
I'm trying to get through. Listen. Friend. Okay, so our next topic is this. Golden State. Our next topic is this. We talking about the playoffs? No, before we go playoffs, we have to go. Aisha Curry. Aisha Curry did an interview with the Red Talk table, and she was talking to Jada Pinkett Smith, and they spoke on um, her situation with Steph Curry and how she deals with him um, when, when bitches come up to him or approach him. Groupie love. How do you deal with groupie love as a wife, a wife who's so solidified in her position, right? So liar, and there's always, like, the ladies will always be lurking. Right. Hoping, right. hoping for their moment and waiting. You need to be aware of that. Right. But for me... So she basically said, um that it's not really issue. It was issue for her in the beginning and now she kind of just like lets it pass. So my question to Reese is someone who's in a similar situation as Aisha, when when old groupies are coming at your nigga, how do you handle it when it's um, face to face? Like if she was speaking on when they walk up to him in the club or speak to him. Yeah, when they walk up to him. You don't gotta say, oh, can we get specific for the fans, like someone who's dealt with somebody that's an NBA star? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Reese. I mean, but, this is, but this is also to women worldwide, anybody who is you. If you're dealing with a lit nigga, yeah. you know what I mean? Okay. But, more so, Reese. So how do you deal with it, Reese? When niggas shout out at your nigga? When it comes to love. Um, okay, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, it never Hall is. of Famer, sixth player of the year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did you think Since, against the, um, against think? the Warriors? I respect it. Like, Since I met Lou, me and Lou have always had a relationship where we talk about everything when it comes to bitches. Okay. And um, I'm like that with my OJ. There's never been a gray area there from him and I. So I don't know what goes on in other people's relationships. Like I can say, let me ask you this. We, we don't have we don't have no issues there. Let me ask you this. Do you are you like it secure in yourself? Me. Yeah. That's what I was going with. You feel like you're such a, an elite joint that. Like as like that's a seven. How I feel about she myself. Talk to I ain't gonna lie. So you feel like as a seven to eight out of ten, that. <laughs> <laughs> oh! How do you know you were shady? I you were shady. Nah, you feel like as a solid joint that other joints don't compare to you. So it's like you're not really confident. That's what we were talking about earlier. We talked okay. about security. Yeah, yeah. Show me yeah. rolling. Show me why you feel confident. That's not. <laughs> now I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> nah, she a nice, she a good joint. She got one clothing on too, and she has shop there. I just wanna plug that again. Deep one threads. Fuck what I'm talking about. Yep, but um, true. so when you confident in yourself, well, it doesn't matter. It shows your insecurities as a woman when you walk around. I don't even notice these bitches. Like I don't see these bitches. Copy. Somebody, they see you though. Somebody, That's my right. friend gotta tell me like, girl, you see a bitch trying to put it on night? Like my homegirl gotta tell me. I don't see your bitch. Don't so see let me tell y'all what happened hey, to me one night. Hey, <laughs> I was out with my nigga one night, and okay. bitches was everywhere. But we were sitting in our section, and he was next to me. This was like our first few dates, and we first started kind of fucking around, and um. It was a white girl, not that that matters that she was white, white girl, blonde hair, but to, I'm, the reason I have to say her complexion is because I thought she was coming with business because she leaned in and she's speaking to him and she's like, so da da da, and I don't know what the fuck she's saying, but I'm not really involved because it's none of my fucking concern. So she pulls out a fucking uh, business card and she reaches up to him and she's like, here, so call me. So I'm naturally thinking, oh, she's not bold enough to fucking try to back out on me. I'm sitting right here. So I didn't think nothing of it. So she hands him the car. He took it. He looked at it kind of fucking stupid. She walked away. He looked at me and said, damn, you gonna let a bitch just give me her card like that? Yeah. And it was the moment I had to go, oh, these bitches exist. And then I have something to say about that too. Lou, when I'm with Lou, I'm like, anybody, family, whenever we with Lou, Lou don't play that shit. Like, I don't have to worry about nobody disrespecting You don't disrespect us. Like, nobody he with. Not you, like, if you with him, but yeah. he, like, Lou, he... Yeah, he rolls, he he rolls, rolls a certain way. So please, please try to disrespect that bitch in front of me. Please. Yeah. Whoever the fuck you are. Yeah, you that's what I mean? true. Some niggas are something. Some niggas go for anything. Lou, so, yeah, Lou, I don't fuck with the niggas, though, so... Ugh. That shit caught me off. Yeah, I was like, damn, nigga. <laughs> I was like, damn, I couldn't fucking believe it. The bitch short that... I, I wish uh, I wish there was other women in here that help with that topic though. I know. Yeah, but um, it's really freaking unfortunate. Anyways, moving right along. We'd like to um Free, I got a question for you, even though you stepped away. You saw that. you saw what the game was posted? Um, yeah, as far oh, as the uh, talking about the game or we talking about the game? No, I'm talking about um the rapper of the game. You you saw about how, yeah. You saw how he said he's going on this um He's doing Nipsey post a day till he fades away. He's Nipsey every single day until he fades away. Mm. Um every that single means day. Every day he's going to Nipsey post. For the rest oh, of his life. Until, until he, he dies. Until, okay, until game. game dies. Okay, I see, I see. Um he's really feeling it. I mean I feel like he's really more Is he dragging it? I was yes gonna ask you what you thought. I feel like just the game. A lot of people in general is taking the Nipsey shit and y'all making it about yourselves. Now, I'm not, at first, 
And listen, if you want to post a nigga every day, like if my brother died, my mother died, everybody breathes different. That's so me thinking. personally, I be laughing at the comments when I go when I see this shit. Like I be laughing at what other niggas gotta say. It don't really bother me because that you know what I'm what's going on. It don't really bother me because the game, like I don't know the game. Like I don't really you know what I'm saying. How do you want to move? We not in a relationship either. Yeah, like, that's the thing. But, but I will say, oh, no. from the outside looking in, it can seem a little extra because it's like Lauren yeah. London only did a few posts, so it's like. Where are you going with it? And then he had one post in particular that was a lot where it was, he was talking about his son. He said his son woke up and was like, I want to drive the Dipsy Blue Lambo. That was funny to me. I felt like he might have really went overboard. But like I said, if that's how he chooses to grieve, I respect it. It's just, you know what I'm saying? The commentary about his actions is what, is what, was what tickles me. So that's really all I got to say. But I do feel like a lot of people is going overboard. And I don't even want to sound like a hater because Nipsey was a great man. RIP to that Black King. Let's get that out the way. I fuck with Nipsey. Do you think you think you think they're posting for clout? Yeah, it's definitely a clout post. It's a clout chase. It's a Nip chase. A Nip clout chase for sure. Okay. Absolutely. So let the clout die down, and whoever's still um, strong, then we know who you are. Real Nipsey fan. By June, we'll Real see Nipsey who's who. Real Nipsey lovers, and then all the clout chasers. Yeah. By June, we'll see who's who. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, we're back. We have some technical. Difficulties. We're back. Welcome back. Um, real quick, we 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 have people commenting on live. We're streaming live right now, and and we had to go back and look at some of the comments that people were saying specifically about this situation with the whole like, um, when it, is it is it comfortable in your relationship to touch your man? If I'm married to my motherfucking husband and I want to lick his ass, is that okay with what the fuck we want to do in our relationship? Does that make him gay? Even if you're not married, if you go together, if you're dating, if that's your man, if you're a woman and I'm a man, is it okay for me to touch him, you know? Don't touch my So, Free said no, and, and he would have, he represents all men because he's all we got in the room right now. Me and Reese feel like he sounds absurd because most of America is cool with him. Cameraman, so you let me just say, touch. Stop, because he's not going to fucking say that because wow. we're here and right now, people are in here. <laughs> People are, in, people are in the fucking Niggas don't want their butt touch. Fuck out of here. Stop, because I brought this back. Bad on Kayla and Marie, who's going to win in a fight. I think Kayla going to tag your ass at this point. Bob, and let's not get it popping because we can do that. Oh, what is the, what, what, is the, what is the position a man has to be in for his, like, butt I'm going to tell touch. you. I'm going to tell you. But some people are in here, niggas. Grown men are in here saying, nah, there's nothing wrong hey. with his lip. My bitches do it, and I'm still grown ass real nigga. Hey, describe the position that a man got to be in yeah, for his butt to get to. Y'all want me to describe? Let me ask, I, I got a question. I can't hear it. Just, I mean, you gotta say it out loud. Uh, it's a, it's dating an athlete rough in the beginning, like when they mature away from the sides. Okay. Oh, we'll talk about we'll that. We'll get into that. We got you. I got a question for these two. <laughs> Next week. If you see your man on the bed, on his stomach, <laughs> <laughs> with his ass yeah, on his stomach. <laughs> If he's on his back, if he's let on his stomach, let me, let me tell you ask something. you a I question. Asked your question. Can Reese I and Kayla, I'm gonna ask you one more time. Listen to understand what I'm saying. What What's about your that? problem? What about the hair? There is limitations in my life. I have none. Not with my man. So if your man is stomach down, cheeks out, draws at his ankles, <laughs> are you going in head first to lick his butt? I might if he asked me. And that's okay with you. Yeah, you know I'm saying if he asked me to. So then what if he cock his butt up? I'm gonna talk about that. If he cock his butt up. But I'm telling you that's not how it happens. Listen, that's not what I'm saying. 2019, anything happened. That was born in the so 90s, right? So she is behind the camera. She just asked things. me. He just asked me if I could demonstrate that's how. Stop. That's not how it happens, Free, though. He <laughs> asked me if I could demonstrate <laughs> how it happens to Please make it real. So, so, so I'm going to tell you guys. Go. Stop. Free, I'm talking while you're laughing over for no reason right now. <laughs> yes. Just let me finish. Y'all finish. You talking to me. You talking to the people. What the fuck are you talking about? They can't hear me. You going cock butter. She just asked. <laughs> I'm about to go. I'm about to go. No. I'm about to go. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go on, it is crazy. Now, I go on okay, so listen, this is he wants me to tell you guys about a position that's comfortable for men and for women. Where the shit can get fucking lit. Y'all are really gonna sit here and die laughing. Like they can't handle it. It's not laughing. Go ahead. Okay, excuse me. So anyways, I'm the woman. This is the dick. When you're sucking the dick, and I'm on my knees, and I go down to the balls, the balls is one fucking inch from the ass, my nigga. So it's not like I have to dip down a little crazy. It's called balls, butt, balls, butt, dick. What's the fucking, 
What's funny? My nigga, what's funny? What's great? What's lit? Nothing's regular. Niggas don't even know you there until they be like, whoa, what the fuck is she doing? Oh, she's there? And by the yeah. time he knows I'm there, I'm bad. Definitely, it's niggas that don't know you're there. I'm glad you said that. Thank it's you. a certain type of nigga that might not know you're there because they're used to that. So that's why I got a question like, no, we draw the fuck that. Well, what I'm referring to is you talking about is so and so ass up. No, not all that. Niggas so put finger like a real nigga, and I'm doing some freak wild shit. Question? Do you put finger finger on butt? I do every fucking thing. And that's okay with you. Absolutely, it's what I prefer. So if your man takes penetration, put thumb in the butt. <laughs> I'll put my thumb in a shorty butt. She's saying that she takes her thumb and puts it in her nigga butt. They understand. So what I when I'm fucking say, a nigga, let me tell you, I'm fucking him and I have his balls right here, my fingers there, and my his hands in my balls, and his dick is in my fucking mouth. Question. And finger in your ass crack. Whatever. No, I didn't say that. Here and here. I asked you, do you put finger in butt? You said. I just here. said, yeah, that was my demonstration. See, this is the ball, this is my Where's butt. The topic list? I'm trying to move on. I'm trying to keep it right Christian, there because you, you want to finger butt too. Hi, Chris. Shit. Kristen, I'm happy that you're here. Dude, Kristen is my um, good friend. She dates white boys. Kristen, do white boys like fingers and butts? You just say you like fingers in a butt? Do you put fingers in a butt? Yes Kristen, or no? no she said, <laughs> She's on here. She's like, no, not today. Sandra, do, are you okay do you with put fingers like in butt? Fingers in a butt. Do you like niggas that like they butt play with? Yes or no? Don't do the bullshit. She went with there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's too much for you, right? Everybody got to You're not respecting it. Don't, don't try to sugarcoat it. She's not respecting it. I she, didn't she didn't say she, she doesn't do guy it. The guy that I'm with, I'm good. All right, you good on that. Yeah. So if you come in, if you come in, do that. That's on you. Now let me ask you this: So if you come in the bedroom and he's on his, <laughs> that's on you. If he comes in the, if you come in the bedroom and he's on his stomach, we're trying to make this scenery out. Now, he's he's doing doing the most. The topic, like, he drags everything. We're talking about lit for real. I'm so happy my brother right here because now y'all know what the fuck be going on. He drags everything. But we can move along. All right, sorry y'all. Can we talk about the playoffs real quick? Shout out to the Warriors. Shout out to Kyrie. Shout out to Lou. Did your thing and all what that. are they saying, Jeremy? What is people, people got anything to say? Yo, somebody said, what did they shit on you? They somebody, somebody, that somebody, doesn't somebody, happen. Nobody somebody, shit. Nah, somebody else said, it's funny. So they said they might not know you there because their ass is loose. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> they used to the fuck. Reset that. Reset that. They used to the fuck. I agree with you. Who, what's, no his ass? what's his ass? Let me tell you something about assholes. They're, they're clean. Miss who? What's her name? Miss J. Shout out to Miss J. I agree. <laughs> Niggas don't know. Nigga might be used to that type of shit. Shame. We're not even talking about We're not sticking a fucking us up. First of all, let's be clear. You just said you go Bigger things come out of a nigga's ass than my little Let baby. it come out. Fuck out of don't here. Don't go in. You're dragging it. And their asses are much cleaner than people think. It's not that deep. What did I got to do with you on her fingers? What'd you say, Kristen? I said, especially black men, because they use rags. Exactly, exactly. White, black men wash with wash I know a lot of niggas like to take butt play with. That's what it sounds like. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Okay, moving right along. Back to where I was trying to go earlier. We want to talk about Beyonce did a Coachella, uh, uh, what do you want to call it? She did a Beyonce, homecoming Netflix, a homecoming Netflix special on, um, about her concert that she did at Coachella. So she basically replayed, um, replayed the whole show, I guess. She showed footage of what she did. Uh, but it wasn't promoted like that. So I think it everybody was thought that it was going to be like some type of movie or documentary or something like that. She paid homage to HBCUs, which is cool because we went to HBCUs. I went to Morales. I went to Clark Lynn. The yeah, question yeah. is that people enjoy it. No, I'm good. I thought it was kind of boring. I, like I respect great. it, but I, I didn't. I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. I liked it. I see. I I've seen a lot of like women in harmony and Harmony uh, and <laughs> they try to like. Have y'all seen Beyonce live? Yeah. What? She went to every club. Okay. We're in Barcelona. We're in LA. We're in Atlanta. We go to all her shows. No, I see. I go to Beyonce concerts. I enjoy watching Beyonce. Where do you bring her? Do you feel like she's the best entertainer out there? Absolutely. Absolutely. Over Chris Brown. Over men. Over men. Over Travis Scott and Chris Brown. Over all of those. Yes. I, I don't. I, I seen Beyonce live, and I say this: she made my ex cry. There was a lot going on, but I, I, on the flip side, it was a lot. It was a hate. Reese cried. Oh, you cried, Reese? Oh, <laughs> oh shit! No, Reese was crying. And me and Sandra made me so happy. I'm I was so happy. She just turned it off. I was so happy. So back to the the Netflix joint, but I, I tried really to watch five minutes and I couldn't get through. You didn't watch the whole thing, huh? No. So I watched the whole thing, but I understand why people were disappointed because I felt like it was my my first time. I was going to be able to do like that one on one. Like her other documentary she did, mm -hmm. and I felt really like. Close but we got to her. know her intimate. Yeah, like I thought it was gonna be way more intimate, so I was. Uh, I'm gonna say disappointed also. So but when I watch it again and again and again and again, yes. Oh, I thought you were saying no. She's like, yes. Um, I, I get it. The, I get I'll it. say this seven and a half eight. I'll I say it. this. I give yeah. it a three out, three out of ten. We're all I give it a strong five. 
Um, I say this though because the only thing that's I, it's so respectable, you know, it talks about how she didn't get paid much for the Coachella, but she ended up like um, getting paid from the streams, which she made like double her money. So it was basically like really fucking smart. So she I made, respect the business aspect of it for sure. She made a check. Oh yeah, that was hating two second old Taylor Swift got some other check. check. Like Beyonce got a check. She got a situation. <laughs> Don't let's be clear on that. That's for one. But overall, I feel like she's overrated. I feel like. Beyonce is a top five entertainer. Her music is not top five catalog. I feel like it's not as common as y'all niggas make it to be. I just want to throw that out there. Well, you're not a woman, so that's like someone asking Aretha Franklin fan, why do they like her? It's just I like. Shit, I still so. listen to Aretha and Anita Baker. Okay, but I was told that's a bad example. But let and me I listen to Mary J. Blige. Do you listen to country music? I'm sure there's some country top no, chart nigga that's don't lit. Say but woman. it's not your thing. No, I'm saying it's not your thing. So you can't comment on whether music's good when you listen to that type of fucking music. Well, what's her type music's of music? Great. Her music's great to people who want to hear it. She has different genres. What is it? However, she's feeling. She goes deep into. Like, is Beyonce better? Let me ask you this: Is Beyonce better than Mary J. Blige? Yes. Music? No, no, no. Oh, music. Musically. Can she sing? No, Both just better. Who got a better catalog? I just want to know who has a better. Who would you rather yeah. listen to? I say everything. You're rather listening to Beyonce or Mary J. Blige? Yeah. Drunk and drunk. Um, and we went to Mary J. Rod Rod's concert in Atlanta too. I love Mary J. Maybe that Rod. fucked up. That's Auntie. We love her, but to me, I'm taking it. I'm not gonna listen to what's the four on one. Fuck, are you talking about? You so mad. Better talk about anything. Uh, yeah, I'm not mad. You sound mad. Like, oh, right, right, right. Call them so then you got to tell them bitches they can do it too. Like, what the fuck? That's what she did. That's why you did though. So then y'all, uh, um... So Taylor Swift and I ended up having another show after that, and she did a little um her set was just like Beyonce shit like you know Beyonce had the drummers and this and the dancers and all that shit Taylor Swift would come out with fucking drummers the next week it's like Taylor please, please sweetheart please it was very weird but you know, white people are culture vultures but I like I don't mind it because I feel like you know like when you come out and you do some new shit you want people to follow you it's like look what I'm doing setting a trend people follow the trend then we hate on them is That's Justin Timberlake a culture vulture? No, Justin, he's his own lane. Is that yes, he kind of does his own thing. His own lane, and I'm a big fan of him. I think so. Yeah, definitely his own lane. Um, what else? we also got? We're supposed to get into uh, Kodak Black and his um his transgressions. His, his uh, is that what you want to call him? of Kodak Black. I think that's what we're talking I about. Like, with where everybody's I off him. Talking about. What did he do? I mean, do I, 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 and even if he did to do what he did, he talking about uh. To all he said was Lord like, Lord, like yeah. I mean, he said I would be a friend of Lord London. And like, but who is? Like, what are you talking about? It was a conversation that Nick, everybody has had behind the scenes. It was it wasn't supposed to be on live, so that's why everybody felt like what he did the, was just the totally joke was too soon. It was, it was too soon. soon. It was too soon, Kodak. And he tried to take it back. But I fuck with Kodak. What else he did? He, he did when he was talking to Tip. He did. He tried to take it back. Oh, then he apologized. He, he said if I offended anybody. But he just was being a young dumb nigga. And well, all of these things, yeah, but here's my thing: Lauren probably ain't even lose no fucking sleep yeah, over. She's like, he's just young and dumb, probably poor little baby. Yeah, yeah, sure. got you don't know no better. My question, if it's on, if it's here on our list, he must have done more than that because it's saying um, he's, he's doing too much ignorant shit. What else has Kodak done that's been out of pocket? I mean, they just raided his tour bus um, when he went to, he was trying to, I guess he was on his way to nah, Canada. Nah, cheese, do you know what else did, what else, what's up with Is this live? We live still. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, they raided his tour bus. That just happened. Like, that's what he was that's trying it? to, he was trying to claim it from And then he was trying to go in the Oh, he had a rape situation. He had a rape situation. But that didn't happen. He been fighting that. That ain't But we're no. saying it's non-stop with him. It's niggas in the industry that don't have no, no nothing against them or might have one thing. This nigga's non-stop. But you know what I think it is? I think that this is how he keeps his career up. I think that yeah, it's that, so um, what do they call it? No such thing as bad publicity. Like, I think yeah. he has to stay relevant. This is why he goes live every fucking day. Doing anything he can do because I think it makes him relevant. But on the flip side, the Nipsey comment did get him removed from a few radio stations, which is why the, the Bad Baby decided to take him off the remix and they put Megan Stallion on it. Yeah, that's and I did, you know what I'm saying, which is tragic. But I mean, you know, politics as usual. People um, say, people really? Say want to fuck Young and May. Oh yeah, there was a young and situation. I have a question. Oh my God, can we go there? Free? I don't. Let me tell y'all something. This is why when we sit here and do this and we're on camera, Free feels like he has to be cool, and I want him to be very much real. If you saw a bitch and she dressed like a nigga or whatever, but she was still a bad bitch, would you fuck her? All right, I'm gonna keep it all the way 100. Please, for the first time, and we're all set history. Free's gonna keep it 100. Fuck out of here. Fuck. Speak. Would you? I've hit a date before. Ah, Free about to die. She was up. <laughs> 
Can I get my shit off? Okay, go, 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 go. What the fuck? Ah, but I met her. She was like, yo, she was full blown gay. She like, she like bitches. She wasn't like a butch dyke, but when I say dyke, she fuck with bitches. You know what I'm saying? But did she dress Honestly, like that? Did she dress crazy? I met her when she was on the job, so I never really seen her. When she pulled up on me, she had on like a sweatsuit, so it was regular shit. And then I fucked her because she had a vagina. And but I will say her shit was extra tight. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? She blew my back. It's still, it's still it's vagina. You know what I mean? As far as Janet Mango, I don't know if I'm fucking young. Wait, she didn't forget? What about the ones? What about the ones that's um super, super, super like nigga ish? Like, like where you got a Caesar and all that extra shit? Like, I'm good. Dude. Like, we're not gonna do that. If you have like a low cut that's eternal? Nah, yeah, I'm good on that. Well, but it's some joints, it's some joints in the WNA that I'm taking that. Was, like, tight, tight, like that, and she was telling me. Uh, Hold on, let me get you Come here. Wait, that she was fucking a whole bunch of niggas. Let so. me give you an example. Like the brat, I remember how she when she first came out, she was like wild nigga out. But then she did like one video when she was on the beach and she looked the eye. So niggas was like, oh, I bust down the brat. So it's like it goes both ways. She's like still a woman. So that's I what I'm saying. They still a woman. Like you could throw on all the Nike text you want. You know what I mean? When I get you butt ass and I see it, how I see it. I'm Jeremy, like, I'm going Jeremy, could you see yourself fucking a stud? If she, I mean, if she was still a pretty girl and she's still with us, she's still cool. But she dressed like a nigga. Let's say braids, low cut. Looks like a nigga, but I can't you? do that. Like, it, it, it throws you off. I be confused when I be out with Danae and, and niggas be hollering at her, like you know what I'm saying? Niggas be hollering at a stud to be with. We have a friend, mutual friend. Her name is Danae. She's a stud. So yeah. when y'all are out, niggas, niggas trying to niggas, fuck. Niggas, niggas I be, be wondering. I, I ask myself. Niggas be trying myself. to talk to like 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 niggas be trying to talk to Danae. Talk to her like I'm that's real that interesting. That shit crazy. Like I be, but that's but crazy. that's your homie. Yeah, if you homie. see a joint and she got titties and ass. Niggas just gonna see what's up. Like that's just I mean, I don't know what we're gonna say. I, when I think about question. when I think about Dr. Like if I, I see titties and ass, what do you want me to do? This is gonna be really touchy. I think about insecure women. I think about women with a lot of insecure they might be targeted. That's yeah, they might be targeted okay, by like that insecure. Because why do you dress up like what? Oh, like, I see where you're you going. You might get there. targeted. That's like, true. That's only true. Way, you know, because it could so be ugly, some sort of. It could be. It could uh, be. I don't feel cute enough to be a girl. It could be some type of insecurity you have. And then it's feed on that type of vulnerability. It, the weakest link gets it every time. Every time. A nigga could see it, look at her as being vulnerable, and then move in. And especially because if you think about it as like some sort of like an identity issue, like I'm a man, but I'm a woman, it comes with confusion and niggas prey on it. If I call a nigga right now and say, I'm stressed out, I can't pay my bills, I don't know what to do, right he's gonna blow you up, he's gonna press you. It's when you're confident, like, nah, I don't need no nigga. They be like, yeah, she's doing it. Yeah, so niggas do prey on the vulnerable, so that could be a lot of it. Not saying with you, I was asking you sexually, but I see how niggas would want to pursue them, thinking it's easy. Because at the end of the day, all they want is nothing. They want nothing. The I'm good on young and made, but it's niggas that are fucking young. I love young and made. Like I just want to throw it out there. So you a fucking young and made? What? Okay, okay. I've been looking for young and made. Look, young and made. Put the light on me. Put the light on me. Um, I'm just playing. Okay, what else we gotta touch on? Did you see the um the uh, Jay Z did a special concert where he did a little Shout out to he did a little um spoken word. What? No, he did a concert. I didn't see that. Oh, he did a spoken word in his concert. And he did a poem where he talked about Nipsey and gentrification. It was beautiful. I'm happy because, as a New Yorker, born and raised, he brought out Kim. If you're from New York, you know about the beef between Jay Z and Killer. They haven't done, they never performed Welcome to New York City together. That's really better than the, the Jay Z and Alicia Keys gentrified anthem that they put out. So, anybody that grew up, in the 2000s knows how important that track was and knows how important it was to see them two on stage. So I'm glad that they could come together and perform. Yeah. That was big for New York. Him and Nas been cool. So, you know, just seeing them together, that's lit. But Cam and Hov, that was, I mean, that was a highlight for me. And I'm mad I missed the shit. I mean, I'm still in Atlanta. But I was happy that Hov and Cam, it was in Webster Hall. It was, so it was like an intimate type situation. Okay. And they did Welcome to New York City for the first time ever. And that's big. Yeah, that's like, that's major. It was a good, it was, it was, it was nice. I almost had a tear. I was about to shed a tear, for real. That's how much it hit me. Shout out Webster Hall. Yeah. Shout out Webster Hall. Yeah, big venue. Somebody wanted to know how hard it was running a couple Oh, that's good. Let's go. Yeah. Um, you want to answer that? Or are you going to go? No, oh, no, no, no. Oh, that'll take a whole segment. Um, I've ran a couple businesses. Some failed. Some of them made it. Uh, she stays with hard work and dedication. This is the business we doing right now. This is my friends right here. If you could sum up your advice in one sentence. Gotta stay focused. Do not get discouraged. 
Um, there's going to be ups, there's going to be downs, there's high times. Like you got to always be, just be into what you started. Remember why you started, remember your goals and what you wanted. And that's what's very important about writing down your business plan because sometimes you got to bring it back. You got to bring it back and remember why you started and keep going hard and never forget, never lose sight, never lose sight of your goal. Mm -hmm. That's it. In case anyone missed the question, someone had asked Free, I mean, I'm sorry, had asked Reese on our um, live. They asked her um, the trials and tribulations of being an entrepreneur. Since so, so she knew about business, that's what she was speaking on. For anyone who didn't hear the question in the background. But um, aside from that, now we're going to move on to uh, Free's favorite segment. All day. It's called We're All Set. And it's current. And we're going to go around and say what we are all set on with what the fuck is going on. So, Free, we'll start with you. I'm, all right, for right. everybody that's following the NBA playoffs, I'm all set on Splash Brothers. Most specifically, Steph, because he got two MVPs. He's stinking it up. He just blew a fucking layup, mm -hmm. trying to dunk, and did a spray against the Rockets. It just happened about five minutes ago. I'm disgusted. He has 17 points on wild shots. Durant is clearly the nicest nigga in the league. That's my cousin because we got the same type of hair. Free the same I fuck with Durant. Um, yeah, I'm all set on Steph. And I fuck with Steph. Steph, I've been fucking with you since <laughs> Davidson in 2012 when y'all was going to the Spurs and the Yoss. I need more. Same. What the fuck is you doing, my nigga? Like, you that? playing, you stinking it up. Shit's but crazy. You can't beat the Durant by itself. Come on over to the Clippers, Cass. So who's going to win between um, the Rockets and... Um, Warriors is still going to win in six. Warriors. Okay. But, Steph, we need more. The rent can't carry y'all niggas. He just gave out 46 virtuoso performance. Y'all wasted it. Shit's Damn. disgusting. Yeah, I mean, you blowing dumb. What the fuck is you doing? I don't know about that. Okay, I can't wait. I'm surprised. Shout out to Eric Gordon because you showed up. Welcome. Um, I don't know nothing about basketball, but... <laughs> I love KD. You like the Rachel? Yeah. Okay, Adam. Only because Reese likes him because I don't really know why I like him. Ball it's my favorite player. ball player of all time. Of all time. Oh, so oh, I just oh. like him off the strength of my nigga. Lou knows. Oh. <laughs> Lou knows. But Lou is my top top two. He yeah. Top bracket. Shout out to Lou again. Hold up. Yeah, because Lou is a lot of niggas' favorite. He gave. He gave. He's my favorite. Moments. He's my favorite ball players. Favorite ball player. He's Kevin Durant's favorite ball player. He put that on the tweet. Oh, that's lit. Nah, I niggas respect that. Lou. That's niggas respect Lou shit. Cause yeah. he can go get you 50. And not too many niggas that can go get you 50. Steph, go get 50. <laughs> He's really passionate about this. He just accidentally called the camera and stuff because it's so heavy on his feet. Yeah, I did. Facts. So anyways, moving right along because now that you're good, um, <laughs> I would like to say what I'm all set on and I would like to say this. I am all set on niggas being in fucking relationships and still trying to fuck with bitches. And let me get into detail. Chris is snapping because she's feeling my body. Let me tell you what I'm saying. When I fuck with a nigga and when I meet you and I want to get to know you, I want you to be single. Not like kind of single or maybe in the middle single or I don't feel like I'm in a relationship. That party was, uh, that, 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 that your wedding was just a party. Yeah, it's all that party that's like your wedding. Talk I'm about this. off of that shit. So I feel like this, if you have a girlfriend, Leave if you have a girl, if you have a girl, thank you, Kristen. Go home. Go home. They're passionate, they passionate in here. If you have a girlfriend, if you have a girl who thinks she's your girlfriend, if you have a mom who thinks she's your girlfriend, if you have a wife, Please, if you have a fiance, if you have anybody who believes that they should be closer to you than what you think they are, leave me the fuck alone. Say the fuck out of my DMs, say the fuck out of my life. When you are single, I want you to fuck with somebody new. And that's it. Can we all agree on that? And can the church say amen? Okay, we can okay, so right my turn. <laughs> um, how do I say this? What I'm all set on? Yep. Okay, this is my first time, guys, but what I am all set on, <laughs> and this is gonna be a little touchy, and I'm sorry, like, I, I am a black woman. Black. I'm tired of dark skin bitches giving us white skin bitches a fucking hard time. Hold the fuck up. 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 Hold the fuck no, and I love I like dark skinned bitches more than I like white chicken bitches. But you want to just be giving us a hard time. What's up? Oh, like, it's I didn't not do fair. It. It's I didn't do it. It's not fair. I didn't do it. Because I love. Like We're not giving you a hard time. Reese is black and white. I'm black and Puerto Rican. Come on, Trish, 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 Trish. Let's, Let's talk about it. Why you don't? Don't do it. It's okay. You look beautiful. So it's not about that. We're not giving you a hard time. It's a stigma that you care. Speak on it. You have a mic. Come on, I'm you need to represent Peter Yankee. Get your teeth right. That's uh, it. Come Let's on, you're talking about it. I need to know. I eat my salad. Nah. Cause I feel like I'm getting so like, like bullied sometimes. Like, it's like, like um, how nice do I have to be? How understanding do I have to be about whatever the fuck is going on? Bullish. I don't understand. 
understand. Bully, I'm gonna speak on this. Bully, bully, I'm gonna speak bro. on this. I'm gonna defend you. Bully. Bully. I'm gonna defend you. We dad get bullied, bro. Dad get bullied. I went to high school. I had a joint that was a little fairer skin than I. It's fucked up. We used to call like the doggies, the real ghetto joints. We used to call them ghetto demons because they was always terrorizing joints, and they used to terrorize the long, the long hair, lighter skin I'll females. I'll be there. It's because I mean? they didn't know what it is. It's because you guys, you Kristen, pull up a chair and talk into the mic Wait, where everybody can hear you. Pull her chair up. Free help her. Oh, 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 she, she no, it's in. not even that you women. It's okay. you guys. You Create that stigma. This is a stigma. Men. She's yeah. saying men. Man. Make sure she's in the shot. Is she in the okay, shot? Okay, Christy, come on. Like, I'm saying Talk. black men. You guys create that stigma. It's because you I guys love have brown skin. I understand that, but you guys have a complex. The complex is for you. Yes. Is black man. You feel like you need a lighter skin woman because you have that slave mentality and you need Damn. to be. But why do I have to be bullied because of it? No. That's what I'm tired of. Well, That's what I'm all set on. Why do I have to? Fuck, fuck them you, niggas. We can gang up on them. We didn't do that. But why? But do that's that. not what happens. They love on these men, and they give us light skinned women a hard time. You mm -hmm. know why? It's because you realize the stigma and you don't acknowledge it. So we should we should defend help defend y'all. No, it's, it's not even. Stop it. If there is a stigma and you realize it, I'm not defending. There is a stigma. Oh, she's right. Let's be clear. Niggas like foreign bitches. I don't know what the fuck that's about, and I'm not here for it. But that's true. So it makes there is girls hate foreign bitches guys, because niggas choose them. So and and I'm, I'm not. Gonna, I'm gonna be touch on that too. Wait, I want Kristen to finish. So the thing is, and I can't speak for all. And I'm not even dark skin. I feel like I'm brown, so I can't speak for the dark dark skin women. I'm sorry if I'm not like portraying no. my your views the way you want me to. But I'm saying is, there are men out there that. Prefer a particular type of woman, and it's not even because you're beautiful or bad, it's because your skin color. It's just like, bro, what? Yeah, it's that's true. That cute. You're right. No, you're right. So but what I'm not saying question. Question. is women giving me a hard time. Why are they so mean? I got chose over what? Yes. Or, or because their friends are brown. Shut up. No, to me, I want to talk to me and her. Why are they mean to light skinned women? Why are dark skinned women mean to light skinned women? Because light skinned women are not. Not you, of course. I mean, there's to each of them. That's like saying why are white people racist. It's in general. I'm saying general. I can't speak on everybody, but, but I that's what I want you to recognize. I just said, I just said, you guys realize there's a stigma and you and don't acknowledge, acknowledge it. it. That's what. So what do they want? What do you want? What do you think? Okay, in the acknowledgement, what does that consist of? I don't know. I can't. I, I, I don't, don't know either. either. Like, that's what I'm saying. I'm done with it. Let me say something. I want to say something. My older sister her name is nina gonzalez and she's a puerto rican girl right and God we're puerto rican and we're from up north we're from we're from Mass boston massachusetts when she was growing up she used to always come home and say the morenas at the block jump me they the black girls that lived up our block used to jump her every morning before school let me say this nina don't know nina we fuck with niggas we fuck with men where we love black men i'm black my father's a black man oh I know but let me saying. say this I know every that. single day the black girls would beat her up and she could never understand why my mom had to tell them they don't like you, but and we just had to accept like it. it. So I had to condition myself to understand. I know black, I know dark skinned women hate me, but I don't know why because, because I fuck bitches. I fuck dark dark women is my favorite type of bitch. That's I feel why I like say. another reason why you are disliked is because all right, if you only prefer black men, you're limited. So many that are aren't in jail that do have a good job that may have a degree. Like your limitations and are so like she's so here. You are stealing. stealing. I mean, how is she stealing when they're choosing? That's what I'm saying. Be mad at them. Be mad at them. Let me speak for black men. Let me speak for black men. Read the comments. What are they saying? I don't know what they talking about. I got something for y'all. For black men growing up in New York, and this is a true fact. Y'all have a mindset. The Mexican women usually front on black niggas a lot. So when a black man, and for some, for whatever reason, when a black man bags a Dominican woman or like a Spanish joint, that's a big deal. It's like, oh my God, like I got me a nice little Dominican joint. And that's true. Me personally, niggas know that know me, brown skin woman is my favorite. I feel like brown skin woman got the best box, it's the wettest. That's just me personally. Mm -hmm. And that's from what I've come across. So I like brown skin woman. My mom is brown skin. So I think that's why I'm like really attracted. I always I tell me a dark skin brown, a dark brown skin woman to me, natural, is the best best woman exactly. out in the world. So a woman but I like light skinned women and right now it's cool and rap to say I got a foreign car, I got a foreign bitch. And that's what's going on it's right now. Yeah. So I get it's trendy right now. You know what I'm saying? They made it the house. The house slave made it inside. You know what I'm saying? They don't I, have to work in the field anymore. I, so I, I had a real question. Was, go ahead, go ahead. Why? Because they don't want their kids. Free, we'll talk to you and we'll get another nigga. In. We'll get another man in here to talk about it. Later. No, I just feel like they made it like their kids don't have to have that same struggle that they have. It's like, all right, your kids don't have to worry That's about true too. these type 
type of struggles. If and I have a like a But can you agree that if I'm telling you that I felt and I'm gonna use the word bully because that's how I, I feel. That's the that's the what I If I have felt bullied by dark skinned women over something that's out of my self control, that's not fair. So what is it for? So she's she's in vain is because we were confused. And I'm not gonna say we because I don't put myself in that category because my friends are I mean I I befriend you were Because you're secure in yourself. But do you feel like there's an insecure? What do, you, what do you feel like is the the main catalyst other than the niggas being, you know what I'm saying? It's like we've been conditioned our whole lives. Like, okay, if you if you love a black man, you only date black men. And here are the good black men that are only wanting to date others. It's is, kind of like, well, damn. Let me ask you yeah, this. Yeah, I'm, 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 is it, is it, do you feel like, like it's just others like exotics or is it white women or is it just the others that are not brown skin? So overall, everybody else. You're others so you're not black. Skin. And it, and so non-black women. Non-black women. We'll just say that. You can't say that. That ain't true. It's like, it's so crazy because it's like, here you want this woman, this is your prize, an other type of woman. But then you look at your mom exactly. and you struggle. And that's kind of like, nah, I'm not trying to do that. I want this better. That's fucked up. Which fucked they up. consider it better. And you can't say I'm lying because no, every, no, no we agree with no, you. I agree. No. But I'm, I'm, and and I think it's I deeper. Feel like men are conditioned to think others better as well. I do think that. I, I think it's, yeah. a deep, it's deeper than that. Like I feel like men look at it like, let me get me an exotic joint or to see the her. If I have a daughter, the hair be wavier, the hair be better. Like it's, it's a lot of beauty aesthetics that's, it's, that come into it. Uh, you got uh, the condition. We are conditioned to hate it because it's not us. And then it's kind of like. Yeah. You guys are products because you're not even like. But now that now that product, we, but though, now that everybody we all be conditioned to feel it's like just like racism. So it's fair for us to get bullied because of something that we cannot That's control. That's the real question. Life is not fair. No, oh life, shit. Life is not fair. But is it fair? Is the question. Nothing is fair in life. It's but not fair for him to get targeted to be a black man and by police. Let but me ask you this happens. question: Do you no. feel like light skinned women are picked on? Grown in high school, did you see that? Are picked like, on by dark skinned women? Did no, you see that? I, I didn't see that, but I, I saw the majority it. white. You saw it? I didn't see it. I was the. So I was, was the. I was the. It was the majority white high school. So it's like it wasn't that many black people in my high school. Okay. Period. So it's not like I can say who's picked on or not. Okay. But I will say like. And there is a complex, like, okay. You I feel like it. there's like an overall disrespect or disregard for the dark, for, like, for the black woman? Oh, fuck yeah. And okay. you know that. But see, let me she, be, find, she has to have a badass body and be coke bottle up they for you to even you notice her, her because, because she is brown. So do you feel... Oh, let me tell you. I'm happy, that 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 one. One. I'm happy that you guys asked that because let me tell you some real shit. I'm sorry. I focus on this camera. Somebody in our live just asked us a question. They asked us as light-skinned women, do we feel superior? And let me tell you some real shit. I, this story sticks to me for the rest of my life. Yes. And I'm not choosing why the same way white people feel superior, but let me tell you the moment I realized it was something different because it's not nothing I ever asked for. I remember being in the fifth grade and we were on the playground and we were all running around and fucking playing. And I remember I had a whole bunch of friends. All my friends are black. I grew up in the hood. All my friends black. I grew up as a black girl. I was the only light skinned friend. I can remember the moment when all my friends were on the playground laughing, joking, and one of them said, Kayla is our queen. She's our queen. And I remember sitting there hanging from the jungle gym like, I'm your queen? And all, and I put this on God, and shit really happened. They were like, she's our queen, she's our queen. And I'm sitting there like, well, I guess I'm the queen. And I, I'm a little girl, so don't hold that shit against me. But for the rest of my life, yes, society told me I was superior, even when I didn't feel it. Even when I was insecure, or I didn't feel pretty, niggas was like, no, you're elite. And so I start going, I'm elite. So you me? feel like you're more elite than dog and skin women? Not to put it like that, I think society tells me I'm superior because that's what they say, and I know that they like, I know that white, they like- It's closer look. to white, so it's like, yeah. I'm closer course. to white, and I know that they like, I know that I get off easy. I know that when we walk in somewhere, they're like, well, she's not black, black. I get that. It's sick, but I'm telling you, she's the moment I learned black, black. it, it scared me. It was like, you can be ugly as shit, but if you're a mixie, it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, that shit's crazy. But that's like, you don't fall in that category. No, because yeah. yeah, she's fine. Thank you. I'm that talking about- deep. It was. Girl, it was a moment. It fucked with me. It could be, listen. Well, we're gonna we're gonna bring. That's gonna be a topic on fucking the next week. Yeah, because we need to take that somewhere else. Crazy. Because she that's asked her question. Shit. Mine was. Uh, so wait, you you were about to say something earlier. You were about to say like, nah, that's not true. That's not how men think. So he was. If he was, he gonna lie. We was gonna lie. lie. That's, that's not how you choose your women. Oh, we're gonna go back to that. That's a good topic, and I want to switch it up, and I want to ask some. We need more men on the panel. Nothing against free, but we need some more. I like all women. All right. Oh, can you read that? That's a very um. Can you read? That's not real political. That's some real shit to say. Real bill. Real uh. Um. All right. We're real moving ish. We gotta wrap this up. <laughs> I have a on the timer, so we gotta move forward. But um, our book of the week, my favorite segment. Oh, it kind of goes back to what the fuck we're talking about. That's interesting. Um, it's called the Inner Child Workbook. 
So right now, this is actually, it's not even a book. It's more so of like, when they say workbook, they mean that because you're actually reading and, and writing and it's asking you questions, you're answering them, and then it kind of tells you what your answers mean. So we're getting to the root of who you were as a child and why everything you went through when you were growing up conditioned you to be the adult that you are today. So if you ask yourself like, um, why am I the way that I am? Type A personality, type B personality. <laughs> Y'all, not during my motherfucking book of the week. <laughs> Wait, what? So anyway, this is going to take you back and let you break down the fundamentals of why exactly you are who you are based on what you went through. Key book. This shit really changed my life. Look at me. I got all my little fucking notes Taylor. in there. And what's her background? It's by who? Catherine Taylor. 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 And what makes her? Okay. Um, she's a doctor. Okay. Psychological doctor. For 15 and she years. Has work, and she has for workshops. 15 years, yeah. Lit. I'm telling you, if you have time, it, it only even matters to you. If you feel like you're great, but if you feel like you've been through some shit that fucks with you, this is where it's at. You can order on Amazon, and when you do, go to our page, DM us, tell us if you like it. Okay, anything else we want to talk about? Or are we all set today, and it's all oh, done? Yeah, we, had a, we had, like, two special guests today, Kristen. We did. Kristen, Blake, thank you for coming through. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, We're bringing all the best. We love girls. Keep up in it. You do. We appreciate I just spoke for all of them. I don't know why I just spoke for Reese pulled up. You already know. Regular. I just spoke for all of them. We got Reese. We got all black women. It's lit. Thank you guys for tuning in as always. Have a good night.